Back on Inside Tennessee with the head of the GOP in Knox County, Randy Pace, our guest. Again, thank you for being here. Susan. Yeah, I wanted to follow up on your goals. One of them is to try to get a permanent headquarters. Another is going to be to have to raise a lot of money because if you do get a headquarters, that means you're going to have expenses all, all year round. So how are you going to raise the money necessary for that? And then what is your goal? He's to going to call you, Susan. <laughs> You know, there are a lot of people with uh, uh, deep pockets. Ideally, it wouldn't be a rental space. It would be a space that we could buy outright. One of the things we face is, is it needs to be someplace where it's centrally located. And anytime you start being centrally located, you're looking at city property and there's not a whole lot of parking available. Right. Um, but again, like I said, ideally, it would be something we could buy outright. Um, it's not like we need a whole lot of square footage, um, but we have to be able to park a few cars and, and get some people in, in, in the building. So do you have a budget for this year that so, you would like to raise? So my goal um, <coughs> would be $100,000. How are we going to raise that money? At, like I said, there are a lot of deep-pocketed people in Knoxville that are waiting for the right opportunity to support the Republican Party in a meaningful way. If we can demonstrate that we're gonna use the money wisely, strategically, and the return on their investment is, is a, a continued conservative government and, and that focus, not just for the county, but for the city as well. Mr. Pace, um, just kind of curious, um, it's no secret that Republicans dominate basically Knox County politics. Everybody knows that. It's been that way for a very long time. How do you, if you can, sort of balance the sort of the big heavy hitters of the party, the people with the scratch, and then the regular folks who are just very proud to be a uh, Republican, maybe don't have much money they can give. How do you, do they all fit under one tent and how do you make that work? Actually, so it, and I'm glad you brought it up. So I'm going to make a very uh, uh, specific point as it relates to that. There's a difference and, and a very distinct difference between being a member of the Republican Party and a Republican voter. A lot of people, uh, and, and uh, going back to, to uh, the, the point earlier, a lot of people don't want to affiliate with a party, but they're going to elect or, or vote for the best candidate. So whether you're a Republican voter or a Rep member of the Republican Party, um, we're going to welcome everybody. And, and insofar as fundraising goes, we'll accept donations from, from somebody that has $10 to spare rather than $1,000 to spare. Um, what does that mean? The party, once the individual is elected to public office, mm -hmm. and, and that really is our goal, that's our number one job is to elect the best and brightest Republicans to public office. Once that happens, um, they're set up and they're legislating. It's different being a member of the party and running for office and legislating. You serve everybody as a legislator, the party serves one organization. You so. just had um, the governor in for the Lincoln Day di dinner. You've been Did. supportive of his efforts um, with vouchers and other issues in the legislature. What do you want to hear from Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs in his budget address uh, coming up in the next few weeks? So I had the opportunity to talk with uh, Mayor Jacobs long before he was elected. And, and some of the conversation uh, revolved around uh, government financing. What is the role of government? Um, and and based on that conversation, he and I, we we really had a lot of common ground when it came to government funding, and and how we spend our money. Um, I think that that Mayor Jacobs is going to do a great job laying out his budget for the county, and and. I think the commission, it's going to be something that the commission can support. Um, Is there something that you want to see in particular in or out of that budget? <laughs> there, Let me be specific. I, when you were mayor in Medford, uh, you killed the Parks and Rec budget for your city. Gone. I did. 
I did. Would you eliminate. support that in Knox County? Because I would suggest uh, there would be Shelley's mob at your door. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't suggest that. Uh, we did that as a result of a financial crisis we faced as a community. Um, Knox County is, is much larger than Medford Township, New Jersey. Um, I think that the, the, the ideal would be the county or the government would spend less and through philanthropy and volunteers, we would maintain and, and provide more in the way of parks and recreation. Um, we have a we, pretty robust philanthropy and volunteer system. We do. That, that I think everybody on this panel could talk about and, and I, that's really one of the jewels of our city and our county. It is, but we, we also spend a significant amount of money on, on things that are really not the primary function of government. Well, we appreciate uh, your perspective. Thanks for coming on. We'll certainly check back with you as uh, your term wears on. We appreciate it. John, thanks for having me. Absolutely. We're back with an extended talk around right after this.